Batman. So, okay. Dick Jim is <laughs> having the hottest artist out the city. Like, you can't find, like, running back, hottest. Hit you like the city. Don't do that. On GMTV. TV. Shout out GMTV. TV. Y'all know. Yes, man, come on, man. GM TV dropping the hottest gym in the world. Shout out to GM TV. They're my people. We started this shit together. My boy took that shit a long way. What? Gym TV, getting y'all hot as gyms out the city. Yo, man, this is Fuzzle OG, man. Rocking with Gym TV, man. You hear me? Man, I need to do that video. <laughs> what, what, what was the harder part when you made it to the league? What, what, what the harder transition to the world? It wasn't, it wasn't no hard transition, man. It just got to have a want to. Like, with me, I was just lazy. I ain't watch as much film as I did, like, wanted to. Uh, i just go home, play the video game. Like, that's what I mean. I was halfway in, halfway out. I was eating anything. I would tell my wife to cook this. She will cook it. I had known I got to go on way in. Yeah. And if you weigh in over a certain amount of pounds, it cost, it's cost money. Like It cost you money? Yeah, it's like, if you, when I was there, it was like 600 a pound. You feel me? Shit. So if you come in 10, 10 pounds overweight, you feel me? You got to pay that. Yeah. So it was just little stuff like that, man. Not not being in that playbook. I mean, I I go work out, but I ain't watching no film. I just ain't, and you know, I just ain't eat right. So I ate, I feel like I ate myself out of a, a country, you feel me? Yeah. Not being focused, not, not doing the right thing. This at the back end, though. Cause when I first got there, I was home. Yeah. Yeah, I stopped that hunger, stopped that, you know what I'm saying? Thought I was good enough because I almost made it to the Pro Bowl. Yeah, that the year you had to wear the 93 on man. Cause I was yeah. playing with you know oh, yeah. uh, old man. Yeah, I, got, I, got, I got complacent, man. So don't get complacent. Just keep your head down, keep working. Like I said, just keep watching the film, do what's necessary. All right. So, you know what I'm saying? When you, when you got that, you know what I'm saying? Like, when you were there, like, man, I know been playing football so long, I'm just kind of tired of it. Man, I, like, I, like we were talking about earlier, man, the paint, the, the paint be on the wall, man, you know? I, I got cut from Tennessee. They wanted to bring me back. Then I ended up going to Seattle with my weight was still a problem, so I had hamstring issues, you know what I'm saying? I hurt my hammies, both of them. And soon I get healthy, my weight still one where it's supposed to be. They cut me, so I go to. Uh huh. Why you feel like you you battling with the weight? Like you just not eat, still eat right, or you just can't get the weight off? Still not eating right. You gotta eat, eat right, and do right with your weight. Like you gotta watch what you eat. That's why a lot of people have like chefs and stuff. But like I said, when I went to Atlanta, they, um. They wanted me to. They wanted me, but at the same time, you the first thing the coach asked me, like when I got there, when they signed me, uh, you gonna be able to move with all that weight? And I was like, yeah, I can handle it. So, like I say my weight and all that played a major part in. It, you know, you gotta be in shape. You gotta do the right thing, bro. Like, if you wanna be there. What what the ideal weight for you? Like that you they wanted you to be? Like two forty eight. What you weighing in? I was like two sixty. But I, I was big though. Exactly. Yeah. So it'd it be hard to get that weight out once you muscle, yeah, yeah, solid in here. And, and at that age, how old you all then? I was like twenty four, twenty five. Yeah. So I was, it was just hard to shake that weight. I always like I said, I always had a weight problem as a kid. Yeah. <laughs> I remember having to run around the project with a bag on Wait, just to make weight, you feel me? So <laughs> My weight had always been an issue, but when you get to that level, it's, it's all been. You got to do what they say, or you gonna be out. So we talking about the business, you know what I'm saying? Everybody know new to good at investment, you know what I'm saying? Like you want to talk about some of the investments you had made while you was in the league? Right, I ain't made no investment right now, man. I'm talking about when you was in the league. I thought you bought a truck or something like that. 
No, I ain't about that, man. We, I'm actually trying to get myself together to do some type of investment, man. You know, either my wife decorate parties, um, the dog business, the, with the French Bulldogs, um, my boy Randolph, we, we trying to start something, but y'all need to get at him if y'all want a Frenchie. Yeah. He gonna he gonna he gonna be popping in a couple months, couple well, in about a year or two he'll be popping with them Frenchies. And um you know man, just I just be trying to think of different stuff, man, but I don't wanna waste money. Yeah. Don't don't be wasteful with money. Uh if you don't you don't do the right thing with well, it gonna be gone. Yeah. So uh, you bought a lot of Gucci while you was in in the in the no, league. Man, I don't, I'm, I'm plain <laughs> James. I'm like I'm like Kimmy Casanova. I'm playing James. <laughs> I'm playing James, man. Yeah. I do it sometimes, but I'm playing James for the most part. Some people go through them, like when they don't make it to the league or whatever. They have like depression. You know what I'm saying? You done seen a couple of people that that went through a, a bad depression because they ain't make it. They went to school with or something like that. Yeah, I mean I done witnessed that man. Cause like you say, people feel like they the man when they coming up. Yeah. And that's all they know, football, football, football. But when it don't work out for them, what, what can they do? You can't, you know, the only thing you've been doing is football. You don't know nothing else. Yeah. So, it, it hurts them. You know, put them in the depression, depression, depression mode. But you got to shake it, man, because life goes on. So, you got people who will, you know what I'm saying, have actually took their life because they ain't making it to where they want to go, but... I feel like nothing in the world that's serious to take your life, man. Like, real talk. <laughs> nothing. All right. Now we're going to get into, like, you, you, you coach for, um, what you do now? Coach down, you still work? But you coach yeah, I work, I work. I work down at um, the state dog, and I coach. Yeah, I coach that McGill this year. And, um, we had a pretty good year. Well, I had a pretty good two years. I only lost four games in two years. So, that's big. Like the biggest line to me, you know what I'm saying? Like people be saying like like people that made it to the league or got big need to come back to the hood. Now give y'all no time to, you know what I'm saying, be a head coach, you know what I'm saying? Like what's your take on that? I mean it take it take time, man. Like what people don't know is that you have to be in the school system for three years, then sometimes the coaches don't want you around or A D don't want you around. But me trying to go back to the hood. I was I was trying to get there, but things just didn't go how I wanted to go, you know. Yeah. So I ended up playing on the internet. I own a coach. Um, coach Carl Jacket Jackson. Everybody know him at Buckethead. <laughs> he hit me up, man. You want to coach for real? I said, yeah. yeah. Well, you come up to McGill. We gonna we gonna get you everything you need. And sure enough, the same day, the well the next day, he had everything ready for me. Yeah. So. The story behind that, that's the story behind that. I wanted to go back to Vigo from the jump, but it just didn't work out like that. Alright, now you said you got the future plans and investments or whatever. Like, and you had some music big. So get three artists out of the city you wanted, you know what I'm saying? Like, that you listen to on the daily. Oh, Trent Run, Pooty. <laughs> Trent Run, shout out to Trent Run. Jay Montana. Shout out to Jay. My love, Jay. He <laughs> still smoking loud. You can hear it from the air track. <laughs> well, I love that young dude right there. And uh, I, I listen to Rollo, no cap. Yeah. I mean, I bump, I bump a lot of cap too. So. Yeah. So what? what, what? So when we did Ken, he was like he started the basketball training. You think about something like that, like doing like a training camp? Yeah, I, 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 I think about that too. Like. like Call it running back you, you feel me? Yeah. Like do like running back drills and get other guys to come in like uh, Kiki Ray or uh, Ken Houston or uh, Big Daddy or uh, Deshaun Deshaun Davis, like everybody coach this different position. It yeah. just turn guys into a real dog. Right. I, I think about that all the time. Yeah, it, it take time for that. Yeah, it take time, it take time. You gotta be you gotta you gotta be able to make your own schedule and stuff like that though. <laughs> yeah. Gotta so, work for yourself. So anything you wanna tell the um before we get out of here, anything you wanna tell like the the up and coming college players or uh, somebody going through high school, you know what I'm saying, from the hood, 
Like you want to tell them something like that it helped them out in college. They transitioned from college football. I mean the college or uh, NFL, whatever. Man, I just want to say just grind. Keep your head down. Grind. Um, respect everybody because respect is due to a dog. Straight dog, man. You no, know? respect any and everybody. Yeah. Love everybody. I mean, this this be straight a straightforward person and. Work hard, grind hard, and play hard. Yeah. Shout out to Jail TV for we get out of here. I said shout out to Jail TV for we get shout out. Shout out to Jail TV. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we on TV. We on TV. Yeah. Shout out to Jail though, man. Hey, thanks for the interview. Uh, I appreciate that. Jail TV. Again, y'all know the hottest Jail TV. Hey, shout out to Jail TV. Hey, shout out to Jail TV.